late for work today, I am. What are we gonna do? Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube wow. channel. I'm running late today. It's quarter to nine. I haven't got to work yet, but I had to drop the old Donald Ruski off at school today. So really, technically, I'm not late, but I am. Didn't get nothing done on the engine this weekend. As you know, we had a lot of uh, busy family things going on this weekend. The heater's just cranked, so you can't hear dick all. So yeah, had a lot of busy stuff going on this weekend. Desk moving. Mel's got her little office upstairs. She does now that she wanted, so we we got that all set up. I got my room cleaned up as you see in there in the last video. So now I can actually have a sleep in my office again, eh? What do you think of my haircut, by the way? Self haircut, not too bad, eh? I know it's got a little bit of a bowl look to it, but hey, I did it myself, what do you expect? Friggin' right I did. So I got three mobiles today, it's Monday, and none of us want to go to work today. But we're gonna go anyways, and we're gonna see what we can screw over, Cap. Yeah. Ordered some of my own merch I did, so I'll be able to show you that soon enough. What the hell is that, Cap? Boy, well, snow. I'm curious to see what the stickers look like and what the cup looks like and what the sweater looks like. Because it's nice, big, bright lettering it is. So it's going to be freaking decent. Let me know in the comments below what you've been up to this weekend. I'm, I'm curious. Tell me down below what you've been up to. Because I want to know. And tell me down below if you want to see me figure out what the hell's going on with the old decent golf cart there. See what the squeaking is. I think my belt's glazed. That's probably all it is. Just gonna take her off, run her with some sandpaper, and Bob's your uncle. So we'll do that together in a video here shortly. Friggin' right. Christmas is just around the corner. Let me know if you're staying home or going to your family members for Christmas. I think we're gonna stay home. I think we're gonna just uh, do our own little thing at home this year because the family wants to do it in the garage party and I'm not into it. No, too cold. Forgive it. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Might stop by for a visit, and that's about it, and then take off. But I wanna know what you guys planned for Christmas. If you plan anything at all, or if you're just gonna stay home. She is almost the end of November already. God, time is freaking flying. Which reminds me, I should get my Google check this week. Little doogie. Holy cow, I'll tell you one thing, there's not too many people on the road right now. There's nobody behind me, and there's nobody coming. That's really odd, 9.50 in the morning. So everybody's either at work, or yeah. They're at work, they must be. I see the city of Toronto, they're shut her down again. Kind of lucky in my neck of the woods. Lambton County, we got, uh, I think, 15 cases in all of Lambton County. So we're doing pretty freaking good this way. Following the freaking rules. Don't do this, don't do that. Or we'll have to cock slap you. Why wouldn't you? Nothing like being told what to do. That's why I don't go in the front office anymore at work because I don't like wearing masks. I'm the non-mask type of guy. I had a war one yesterday when we went to Staples to get Melanie some supplies and it sucked big dicks. Huge dicks! Leave your comments down below if you have the same problem or if you feel the same way. I know some people don't mind wearing them, but I can't see with them. Doesn't matter how far up in my nose I freaking tuck the mask and squeeze it, I still fog up. Don't tell me to wear my mask wrong because I put it right up tight and put my glasses on top of the mask and I still fog up. Because you know why? I'm fat and I breathe heavy. So there you freaking go. That's why. So if you have the same problem, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button too. Why wouldn't you? I freaking you better not. I got a big scab on my wrist. Look at that thing. Oh, I just want to pick it off something awful. It's bugging me. But if I pick it off, that's going to bleed. Then I have to start all over again. Oh, I had a punched out seat on the old Silverado on this side. And I... Uh, on Friday there, I took the seat cover off and I punked her full of uh, new foamage. So it's not punked out anymore, but I got a little bit of a lump there. So now I got to just kind of try to poke that out because I can feel it. But it's a lot better than what it was. At least it's not falling out. I got to learn to use my step up. I got step bars on this truck and I never use them. I always rub my ass over the edge of the seat, just cocking it over. So I got to learn to freaking use a step pad. It's hard to do on a two-wheel drive. It's, it's kind of like in between, eh? It's like a baby step to the step bar, but it saves your seat. Let me know if you have a step bar on your truck and if you use it or you bypass it. It's one of those things where you either get in the habit of doing it or you don't. It kind of sucks. As y'all noticed too, I haven't been putting any train videos on my other channel. Thinking about shutting that channel down or just leaving it. Leave your comments below, let me know what you think. Trains don't get a hell of a lot of views, they don't. And you can understand why you guys thought they were boring, because now I do. At the time I thought it was kind of neat, but now they're kind of boring. Drone flying is still fun to me though. I still like flying the drone. I actually love it. I should get it out with snow on the ground. Forget to come all the way back to Wyoming this morning to do a windshield at Ron Clark's. 
But anyways, I'm going to roll on, have a coffee here, get to work, and this and that, and the other thing, get it over with, and I'll see you right after work at Wilson. Oh, there we go. We're all done for the day. It's five, uh, 10 to 5, and it's already dark out almost. Can you even see me? Probably not. Here, let me help you out. How you doing, hey? So hopefully everyone had a good day like I did. But I just got to swing over to the old man's, help him with an end on a freaking wire. So anyways, it's going to be a little discussion real quick about the LS. So... A lot of LS's have a steam vent. I don't know if you know what a steam vent is. It goes between the two heads at the front to circulate the cool. Well, most of them don't come with a four corner steam vent, just the two fronts. Because normal engines sit like this. So the air pockets normally sit up here. So they put a steam vent there. But my engine, I'm not sure how it's going to fit. So I want to put a four corner steam vent. So they want like 145 bucks plus 20 bucks shipping plus $13 import fee, and I, I can just send it to America, but why bother when I can make my own? So I went to the junkyard today, and thanks, Dean, for giving me another steam vent. So I'll just cut it, and I'll make my own up, because now I have all four corners of these things, and I can make my own up, and I can run it whichever way the hell I want. So leave your comments down below if you've done that yourself, because I want to know. These people are looking at me like I'm crazy, but I don't really care, because I'm talking to you. Why wouldn't I? But like I said, if you're an LS guy, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you made your own steam vent. But anyways, I'm just going to head over to the old man's, get this done, head back home, have something to eat, do this edit. So this will be out today, hopefully. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Love y'all. Until next time.